Our final night of competition, the 2024 Spring Speedo Sectionals. It's been great here in Indianapolis. As of this morning, we've had 11 meet records and a handful of world records for our Paris swimmers. It's just absolutely amazing. And more to come this evening. I know we've got one uh, Paris swimmer in an event this evening that's trying to get a world record in the 200 IM. So we'll see if he can get that done. In women's team scoring, up to this point, the top five, Fishers with 440 points, Mason Manorays with 445, Michigan Lakeshore with 485, Scarlet Aquatics with 562, and your women's team score leaders uh, currently are Carmel with 997 in men's team scoring. In fifth place, Fishers with 370 points, Indiana University with 447 and one half points. Third place, Scarlet Aquatics with 473 and a half points. Second place, Mason Manor Rays with 479 and one half points. And Carmel, your men's team leaders with 660 points. At the end of our meet this evening, we will have high point for women, high point for men, high point uh, women's and men's team awards, and then a combined total. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you all please rise for this evening's playing of our national anthem. All right, swimmers, one last session to get it done. You guys have been doing great. Tonight, we're going to see competition in the 200 IM, the 1500 free for women, 800 freestyle for men, and 100 freestyle. That'll wrap up our Speedo Championship meet. Ready to get started now. See final in the women's 200 IM. Away we go. Here we are in lane one of the C final. Lakeside swim team, Sydney Brager, two for Mooresville Area Swimming. Lila Theriak, three for Fast Tigers. Claire Francis, four for Mason Manor Rays. Alyssa Ullman, five for Carmel Swim Club. Lucy Enoch, six for Scarlet Aquatics. Daniela Kernaw, seven for Zinesville. Annabelle Swinney, lane eight for Mason Manor Rays. Isabella Tipley. At the 100 turn of the C final, Lucy Enoch, Carmel Swim Club, turning at a time of 107.13. Head of Isabella Tepley, Mason Manorays in lane eight, 107.14.
I'd like to wish a good evening to our fans watching us on the webcast, whether you're somewhere around the United States or around the world. Glad to have you with us here as part of our event here at the IU Natatorium in downtown Indianapolis for the Speedo Sectional Championship. Lucy Enoch from Carmel, she's been out front the whole time. Swam this morning, 224.64. Let's see what time she puts up here. Coming into the wall, Lucy Enoch from Carmel, 221.95 in the C final to start us off this evening at a women's 200 IM. B final. B final lane one for Club Wolverine. Ocean and Finland out. Lane two for Carmel Swim Club, Faith Gorey. Three for Scarlet Aquatics, Chloe Kim. Lane four for Lakeside Swim Team, Kate Brager. Five for Fast Tigers, Avery Stein. Six for Club Wolverine, Stella Chapman. Seven for Carmel Swim Club, Alyssa Street. And at lane eight for Indiana University, Catherine Forster. Kate Brager, Lakeside Swim Team here in lane four, turning at a 104.42, ahead of Catherine Forrester of Indiana University. She's a 105.47 at the 100. Coaches, once again, we appeal to you that if you have swimmers that earn medals, places fourth through eighth, those are available for you to pick up on your swimmer's behalf in the West Control Room. Lots of medals back there. So please, they will not be mailed out. Please make sure that you pick up these beautiful medals that your swimmers have earned in the West Control Room before you leave the IU Natatorium this evening. Kate Brager, Lakeside, leads them back. Kate underneath the backstroke flag. She was a 221.73 this morning. 218.83 for a nice drop in time in the B final of the women's 200 IM. And now parading out our first A final heat of the evening, that the women's 200 IM. Swimming in lane one for Carmel Swim Club, Kayla Barr. Lane two for Indiana University, McKenna Lesky. Three for Ole Swimming, Susan Legrand. Lane four, swimming unattached, Boilermaker Aquatic, Kate Mauser. Lane five for Carmel Swim Club, Molly Sweeney. 
Lane six for Southeastern Swim Club, Audrey Crawford. Lane seven for Mason Manor Rays, Adelaine Robillard. And in lane eight for Michigan Lakeshore Aquatics, Sophia Umstead. This is your A final in the women's 200 IM. Meet record of the women's 200 IM, the 213.52, swum by Molly Sweeney. The Carmel Swim Club, she's here in lane five. Did that at last year's sectional meet. Molly already has her Olympic trial cut in the 200 IM. Trial cut in this event, 216.09. Molly turned this morning at the 100, 104.50. And we got LeGrand out front turning 103.16. Sweeney at a 103.78. Grand at the 150 this morning was a 145.03. Sweeney turning first. Quicker than this morning, where she was a 143.97. Sweeney turning at the 150, 142.37. And Sweeney and Legrand racing it out in the A final of the women's 200 IM this evening. Molly Sweeney's going to put it on the wall at a time of D final, women's 200 IM. Lane one of this D final heat from Fast Tigers, Polina Sapova, two for Fast Tigers, Avery Hannon, three for Fort Wayne swim team, Jordan Glassley, four for Mason Manares, Nora Smith, five for Alto Swim Club, Tanisha Gupta, six for Club Wolverine, Josie Libler, seven for Mason Manares, Julia Schaefer, and in lane eight for the Manares, Riley Kleinfelder. Fifty turn here in the D final and Schaefer out front in lane seven, turning into thirty point two six ahead of Gupta in lane five. Josie Libler, Club Wolverine. Hey, 
Libler turned in a time, 107.03. Libler at the 150, 151.08. Norris Smith, Mason Manta Ray, second in lane four, turned in a 152.16 in third. Tanisha Gupta, Alto Swim Club in lane five. Libler's going to get challenged here. Julia Schaefer, Mason Manta Ray's in lane seven, racing it into the wall under the flags. Libler does end up touching first here in the D final, 224.61. And award presentation coming up now in the women's 200 IM. There they are, your top three finishers in the women's 200 IM on the awards podium now. Third place, swimming on a chance, Boilermaker Aquatic, Kate Mauser. Second from Oli Swimming, Susan Legrand. And the 2024 Spring Speedo Sectional Champion of the Women's 200 IM from Carmel Swim Club, Molly Sweeney in a time 214.92. That's quicker than her seed time coming in. She already had her Olympic trial cut. So she'll be seated just that much better in just a few months at Lucas Oil Stadium for the U.S. Swimming Team Trials and a chance for a trip to Paris. That'll be pretty cool. Moving on now, C final in the men's 200 IM. C final lane one for Mason Manta Rays, Ethan Fang. Lane two for Scarlet Aquatics, Brandon Anon. Three for Mason Manta Rays, Robert Karolf. Four for Summit City Aquatics, Hayden Lynham. Five for Summit City, Logan Pazwinski. Lane six for South Bend Swim Club, Archer Jankoviak. Seven for Carmel Swim Club, Corey Hahn. And in lane eight for Scarlet Aquatics, Jacob Kim. Ethan Fang out front, Mason Manor race at the 50, 26 74, ahead of Karolf, his teammate, lane three. Ethan Fang for Mason Manor race. Maintains his lead as he turns at the 100, 10061 ahead of Corella in lane three, 10142. And third, Corey Hahn from Carmel, lane seven. Fang still leads after the breaststroke. Turns the 150, 140, 31. Han now second in lane seven and third Karolf of the Rays in lane three. Yeah. 
on the charge in lane three. Robert Karolf, Mason Manares. Racing it out with Ethan Fang in lane one. Into the wall they come. And touching first is Robert Karolf of Mason Manares. A time 210.47 in the C final. Now the B final. B final, lane one for Greater Kalamazoo, Liam Smith. Two for Mason Manor Rays, Jared Payne. Three for Carmel Swim Club, Yi Zhang. Four for Fast Tigers, Luke Parsons. Five for Carmel, Michael Gorey. Six for Indiana University, Lucas Pute. Seven for Southeastern Swim Club, Jehun Zhong. And eight for Zinesville, Walker Matais. 50 turn, Michael Gorey from Carmel out front. 27.34 ahead of Jun Zhang, Jehun Zhang from Southeastern in lane seven. Luke Parsons from Fast Tigers, lane four, edging to the front here on the backstroke. Parsons around 10095. Lucas Punte from Indiana University, lane six. Second at the hundred. 101.00. Yuzanga Karma, lane three. Turns at the 150, 137.94. Ahead of Punti in lane six. Third is Jung from Southeastern Swim Club in lane seven. Lucas Punta, Indiana University. Lane six into the lead. And he's on the wall in a time of 208.46. Now bringing out the A final in the men's 200 IM. In lane one for Ohio State University, Nathan Hulte. Lane two from Alto Swim Club, Michael Lincoln. Lane three from Scarlet Aquatics, Richard Poplowski. Lane four for Lakeside Swim Team, Thomas Mercer. Lane five for Carmel, Greg Enoch. Six for Ole Swimming, Michael Cooper. Seven for Indiana Swim Club, David Kovacs. And eight for Indiana University, Andrew Reeder. These are your A finalists, ladies and gentlemen, in a men's. 200 I am. Meet record of the men's 200 IM, 200.18. Swum by Daniel Deal, 2023. The Olympic trial cut in this event is a 203.49. In this heat, Mercer in four, Enoch in five, and Reeder in lane eight, already with their Olympic trial cuts in the men's 200 IM.
Mercer out in the 26-35, ahead of Cooper from Ole in lane six. Thomas Mercer turning at the 100, 56.67. Poplowski from Scarlet Aquatic turning second in lane three. There's the 150 turn. Michael Cooper, Ole Swimming, lane six. 134.54. Ahead of Thomas Mercer, Lakeside in lane four. Richard Poplowski from Scarlet looking scrappy over there in lane three. Lip and trial cut they're looking for. 203.49. And Poplowski on the wall, 203.26. Richard Poplowski just qualified for Olympic trials in the men's 200 IM. Let's give another big round of applause. That's what these gentlemen want. They want to get their trial cut and or improve their seed time. And that's what we're all about here at the IU Natatorium is creating the best swim environment in the country for swimmers to come and compete Get that done. Ready now to bring out our first pair of swimmer of the evening. This will be in the men's 200 IM. And it's going to be Tyler Austin of Livonia Community. Tyler established world records in the 50 breaststroke, the 100 breaststroke, and the 200 breaststroke here at the IU Natatorium over the course of this Speedo sectional weekend. And as he gets set to step up onto the block, here we go. Tyler competes in the para category of Virtus II. And I happen to know that he's trying to shoot for a world record right here in the 200 IM this evening. World record is a 254.55. Tyler was just off the world record this morning. He was out on the first 50 this morning, 36.53, quicker tonight at a 35.52. So we certainly want to give him encouragement as he comes through here. His split at the 100 this morning, 124.67. He's going to turn well ahead of that, a 120.72. Now he can hear you on the breaststroke, so let's give him some encouragement here. Already have a world record holder competing in front of you, trying to get the world record in the men's 200 IM.
He was at 214.98 at the 150 this morning. And he's going to turn in a 209.68. He is on fire, sprinting his way down here. Get your hands up in the air so he can see you. Half a length to go. Get him home. Nothing cooler than this. The record, 254.55. He's got to get going here. He's still got some margin coming underneath the backstroke flags. And Tyler Austin touching in a time of 250.63. Ladies and gentlemen, a new world record of the 200 IM. Wow. Fantastic. Three weeks from now, there's going to be a big para swimmer international competition here at the IU Natatorium. And uh, Tyler will be back as well as some of the other para swimmers that have been competing here this weekend. That is so fantastic. D final now in the men's 200 IM. Love it. D final underway in the men's 200 IM. Lane one for Lake Erie Silver Dolphins. Erica Sinkter, two for Mason Manor Rays, Jackson Patterson. Three for Central Ohio Aquatics, Alex Wu. Four for Spartan Aquatic, Trey Lewis. Five for Mason Manor Rays, Colin Pressler. Six for Club Wolverine, Isaac uh, Adnan. Seven for Mason Manor Rays, Brady Campbell. And in lane eight for Summit City Aquatics, Josiah Collins. Trey Lewis, Spartan. Turning in a 100.20. And Alex Wu, second from Central Ohio Aquatics in lane three, who turned at the 100, 100.84. Good race here in the D final coming in. Charging in lane four. Trey Lewis, the Spartan Aquatic Club at the end. And Lewis on the wall, first in a time of 210.33. And now the award presentation in the men's 200 IM. In third place, from Ole Swimming, Michael Cooper. Second place from Carmel Swim Club, Greg Enoch. And the 2024 Spring Speedo Sectional Champion of the Men's 200 IM from Scarlet Aquatics, Richard Poplowski, in a time of 203.26, better than the Olympic trial cut standard in the Men's 200 IM. So congratulations to Richard.
Thank you, gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the award presentation in the Paris Swimmer Division of the Men's 200 IM. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion this evening, setting a new meet, a new world record in his classification, a 250.63 for Tyler Austin of Livonia Community Swim Club. Fantastic. And good luck back here in three weeks for your big international competition here at the IU Natatorium. And we now bring out our top seated heat in the women's 1500 freestyle this evening. Swimming in lane one for Fisher's Area Swimming Tigers, Grace Parsons. Lane two for Indiana University, Catherine Carson. Lane three for Scarlet Aquatics, Kathleen Toronto. Lane four for Scarlet Aquatics, Kate Hurst. Lane five for Carmel Swim Club, Kayla Hahn. Lane six for Scarlet Aquatics, Chloe Kim. Lane seven for Carmel Swim Club, Alexander Ward. And lane eight for Indiana Swim Club, Harper Eakin, the top seeded heat in women's 1500 free. Meet record of the women's 1500 freestyle, 1626.92. Swam by Kayla Hahn, your swimmer in lane five at last year's sectional meet. And this is a time final event. So we had swims earlier today and the quickest turned in by Carmel Swim Club's Ellie Clark at a 17, 16.73. Kayla Hahn out front at the 100, 102.78.
300 turn here. And just by a smidge, Kayla Hahn from Carmel turns at the 100 for the Kate Hurst of Scarlet Aquatics. 315.42 for Kayla. I'm sorry, for Kate. Kate Hurst from Scarlet edges to the front ever so slightly, turning at the 400, 421.11. Five hundred turn for Hirsch, five twenty seven point one two. Six hundred turn coming up here for Kate Hurst. She starts to open up the gap a little bit on Kayla Hahn. Seven hundred turn here for Kate Hurst. Seven thirty seven point five three ahead of Han. Third and fourth here. Third here at the seven hundred. Chloe Kim from Scarlet. She turns in a seven fifty fifty one. And she's going at it side by side with Alexander Ward from Carmel in lane seven. 
Terena, Hurst, Han, and Kim all ready with their trial cuts in this event. Trial cut being a 1645.69. And again, Kayla Han in lane five. She's the current meet record holder in this event. Now they're back turning about dead even. Nine hundred turn coming up. These are two tough swimmers here. Kate Hurst for Scarlet, Kayla Hahn for Carmel. And they're gonna open it up on each other here pretty soon and blast it down to the finish. Again, for those of those for those people who may be just tuning in on the webcast, we are in the middle of our top seated heat of the women's 1500 freestyle here at the IU Natatorium in Indianapolis. Chloe Kim from Scarlet has now separated herself from Alexander Ward of Carmel in lane seven. Thousand turn coming up here. And Kayla Hahn from Carmel. I sense she's getting ready to open it up here. Eleven hundred meter mark, and now Han flips around. She's into the lead. Turned dead even at the far end at the 11.50 mark at 12.35.71. Twelve hundred meters, three hundred to go.
Kayla Hunt from Carmel Lane 5 kicking it up a notch. 1300 meters. Fourteen hundred meters, and our timer's getting ready with the bells. Kay Lahan and Kate Hurst now with two lengths to go. Kayla Hahn, her record, 1626.92. She's at 16.15 right now. Coming into the wall, and it looks like Kayla's going to break her own record as she touches in a time of 16.22.58, breaking her old record. She's got a new one now. Congratulations, ladies. Nice job, ladies, and now we bring out the top seated heat in the men's 800 freestyle. In lane one, for Carmel Swim Club, it's going to be Lewis Sang. Lane two, for Fisher's Area Swimming Tigers, Jonathan Hines. Lane three, from Scarlet Aquatics, Sated and Sated in. Oh, sorry. Are we doing awards here? Okay. We're going to hit the reset button on that. Sorry about that, guys. Oh. I get a mulligan, right, over the weekend? <laughs> awards coming up with the women's 1500 freestyle. It's going to happen here real quick.
And now, <laughs> the award presentation of the Women's 1500 Freestyle. In third place, from Scarlet Aquatics, Chloe Kim. In second place, from Scarlet Aquatics, Kate Hurst. The 2024 Spring Speedo Sectional Champion, the Women's 1500 Freestyle from Carmel. She did it, breaking her old meet record, the new record time in this event, 1622.58 by Kayla Hahn. Carmel Swim Club. Nice job. And now we bring out the top seeded heat of the men's 800 freestyle. I bet I got their adrenaline going there, huh? Swimming in lane one for Carmel Swim Club, Lewis Zhang. Lane two for Fisher's Area Swimming Tigers, Jonathan Hines. Lane three for Scarlet Aquatics, seated in, seated in. Lane four for Northern Kentucky Clippers, Elijah Shoyet. Lane five for Indiana University, Mason Carlton. Lane six for Ohio State University, Joshua Bedford. Lane seven for Scarlet Aquatics, Adam Kiss. And lane eight for Scarlet Aquatics, Raymond Stomar. Top seeded heat of the men's 800 free. Top seeded heated men's 800 freestyle here. The meet record 755.45. Swum by Charlie Clark, unattached to Ohio in 2022. The Olympic trial cut in this event is an 809.69. And Shoyat in lane four, Carlton in lane five already with their trial cuts in the men's 800 free. Again, this is a time final event. And in 800 free swims earlier today, the quickest turn in by Indiana University's Leonardo Pelez, time of 826.57.
Elijah Shoya at Northern Kentucky Clippers as he turns out the 200. Time of 159.10. Four hundred turn for Shoyat. Four oh one point two eight. Carlton second from IU, lane five, four oh six point sixty one. Five hundred turn for Shoya. Five oh two point one seven. Carton at the five hundred. Five oh nine point thirty six. Jonathan Hines from Fast Tigers, lane two, third. Timer's getting their bells already. Let's have some good, solid bells here. This is your last opportunity to do this at this sectional meet. 
nice and loud, but hold on to it. Elijah Shoyat with two links to go. That's good. That's good. Two-handed technique. What do we have here in lane five? There we go. That's how you do it. Good job there. Lane five, Mason Carlton, Indiana University with two lengths to go. They're all getting into it now. This is good. Best bell ringing of the weekend. Awesome. You guys are terrific. Thanks to our timers. Liza Shoya, another Kentucky Clippers here in lane four, 805.39. Second on the wall, Carlton, All right, everyone in now. I won't get fooled twice. Award presentation coming up in the men's 1500 freestyle. And now the award presentation in the men's 800 freestyle. In eighth place from Fisher's Area Swimming Tigers, Jonathan Hines. Second place from Indiana University, Mason Carlson. And your 2024 Spring Speedo Sectional Champion in the Men's 800 Free from Northern Kentucky Clippers, Elijah Shoyat, a time of Moving into our final event of a sectional weekend, that's going to be women's and men's 100 freestyle. Then be sure to stick with us for high point awards, women's and men's team awards, and then the combined team awards ceremonies. Here we go. C final in a women's 100 freestyle. Lane one for Fast Tigers, Stein, two for Zinesville, Swinney, three for Mason Manor Rays, Tepley, four for Michigan Lakeshore, Todd, lane five for Carmel Swim Club, Gorey, six for Zinesville, Metzger, seven for Scarlet Aquatics, Lee, and eight for Concord, 
is Brenda Matt. Again, this is the C final in the women's 100 freestyle. Out front at the 50, Isabella Tepley from Mason Manor Race. Second to turn at the 50, lane seven, Grace Lee from Scarlet Aquatics. Into the wall they come. Ellie Todd touching first from Michigan Lakeshore, 58.53. B final. B final, lane one for Hydro Aquatics, Wyan. Two for Michigan Lakeshore, Albrecht. That's Grace Albrecht. Three for Michigan Lakeshore is Emma Albrecht. Lane four for Michigan Lakeshore, Ensing. Five for Newburgh Sea Creatures, Carlisle. Six for Boilermaker Aquatics, Emmert. Seven for Fort Wayne Swim Team, uh, Williams. And lane eight for Carmel Bowen. 50 turn here in the B final and out in front, Ensing. Michigan Lakeshore, 27.74 ahead of Carlisle from Newburgh Sea Creatures. Third at the 50, Lindsey Bowen at Carmel, lane eights. Madison Ensing, Michigan Lakeshore leads him in. This, the B final here. Lane four, 57.98 for Madison. And we now bring out the A final heat of the women's 50 freestyle. In swimming in lane one for Center Grove is gonna be Laura Phipps. Two, swimming unattached, Concord, Grace Brenneman. Lane three for Lakeside Swim Team, Charlotte Crush. Lane four for Carmel, Alexandra Shackle. Lane five for Fisher's Area Swimming Tigers, Julie Missler. Six for Carmel Swim Club, Grace Doherty. Seven for Ohio State University, Mackenzie DeWitt. And lane eight for Scarlet Aquatics, Iris Kim. These are your A finalists in women's 100 free. Alexander Shackle, Carmel Swim Club, lane four, already with her Olympic trial cut in this event. She broke her own meet record with her preliminary swim this morning, a 54.79. And Alex took it out this morning at the 50 at 26.15. Let's see where she's at here tonight. 26.23, second. Well, we got Mishler out front at a 26.15, which was the record uh, time Shackle had. Shackle second at the turn at the 50, 26.23. But Alexander Shackle coming back big here on the second 50. And Alexander Shackle, she's going to touch in the time, 54.46, coming back to break her meet record. Earlier this morning, 54.79 came back on that last 50 in a 28.23. Alexander Shackle, she's had a weekend, number of meet records, so nice job. Now we're ready for 
our para swimmer heat of the women's 100 freestyle. Swimming in lane four is going to be Beatrice Kilburn, North Kent Aquatic Team. Put your hands together. Come on. Beatrice Kilburn. Beecher's qualified to compete here in the evening finals. Had a swim of 125.26. Around of the turn, 41.27. And Beatrice Kilborn coming in here. Underneath the flags, into the wall. Let's have a nice round of applause for Beatrice Kilborn from North Kent Aquatic Club. A time of 126.08 in this final session here. Her final evening of the Speedo sectionals. And now the D final in the women's 100 free. Lane one for Utica, Shelby, Chambers, two for Fort Wayne, Glassley, three for Lake Erie, Silver Dolphins, Wagner, four for Lake Erie, Nina Newton, five for Mason, Manta Ray, Smith, six for the Manta Ray, Schaefer, seven for Central Ohio, Mia Bosio, and lane eight for Carmel, Sophia Floyd. Smith from Mason, Manta Ray's turn first at the 50, 28.15, ahead of Bosio from Central Ohio. And first to touch in lane six, here in the D final. Julia Schaefer, Mason Manor Rays in a time of 58.54. Award presentation now in a women's 100 freestyle. In third place from Lakeside Swim Team, Charlotte Crush. Second place from Fisher's Area Swimming Tigers, Julie Missler. And the 2024 Spring Speedo Sectional Champion of the Women's 100 Free from Carmel, setting a new meet record, lowering her previous record from this morning, Alexandra Shackle in a time of 54.46.
And now our Paris Swimmer Award Ceremony in the Women's 100 Freestyle. There she is, your champion of this event this evening, Beatrice Kilborn from North Kent Aquatic Club in a time of 126.08. See final heat of the men's 100 freestyle. Lane one for Mason Manor Rays, Campbell, two for Scarlet Aquatics, Precop, three for Club Wolverine, Baumhover, four for Zinesville, Tarara, five for Indiana Swim Club, Pagel, six for Valparaiso, Patterson, Seven for Zinesville, Matice, and eight for Central Ohio Aquatics, King. Out in front at the 50, Bradley King, Central Ohio, 24.98 ahead of Pagel. Lucas Pagel, Indiana Swim Club, turned in a 25.40. C final coming into the wall very close here. And it is King from Central Ohio Aquatics out of lane eight in a time of 52.84. B final in the men's 100 free. Your B final, lane one for Carmel, Zhang, two for Boatmaker, Klingy, three for Newburgh Sea Creatures, Cannon, four for Scarlet Aquatics, Pawlowski, five for Carmel, Shackle, six for Indiana University, Stone, seven, so we're going to attach Boatmaker, friend in lane eight for Indiana University, Davis. Andrew Shackle out front, 24.88, ahead of Alexander Stone, Indiana University, in lane six. And touch it first, Poplowski gets in there. Scarlet Aquatic in lane four in a time of 51.95. Now bring out the A final heat of the men's 100 freestyle. Swimming in lane one for Indiana University, Galermo Cruz Zuniga. Lane two for Lakeside Swim Team, Alexander Teasing. Lane three for Mason Manta Rays, Jason Zhao. Four for Carmel Swim Club, Aaron Shackle. Lane five for Southeastern Swim Club, Joshua Flegel. Lane six for Central Ohio Aquatics, Austin Carpenter. Seven for Lakeside, John Crush. And lane eight for South Valley Aquatics, Joshua Peters. These are your A finalists in the men's 100 free.
A final now underway. The meet record 48-89 by Zach Apple of the Mission View and Anadors of 2021. Olympic trial cut of the men's 100 free, 49.99. Joshua Flagel, Southeastern Swim Club, already with his Olympic trial cut in this event. Aaron Shackle, your top seed in lane four, was out in the 24.63. Let's see where these guys are. Shackle turning in a time of 24.05. Shackle quicker than this morning. And still looking for his Olympic trial cut in 100 free. He's got a nice lead on the A final. Coming down into the wall. Looking for something 49.99 or faster, hopefully. Aaron Shackle, 49.46. That is your latest qualifier for Olympic trials in the men's 100 freestyle. Aaron Shackle. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. D final in the men's 100 free. Lane one for Mason Manor Rays. Valley Youthum, two for Scarlet Aquatics. Iloglu, three for Mason Manor Rays Fuller, four for Central Ohio Lloyd, five for Carmel. Zhang, six for Great Lakes Sale. Corwitz, seven for Carmel Allen, and eight for South Eastern Swim Club, Zhum. Jacob Lloyd, Central Ohio Aquatics, turned at the 51st, 25.29. Ahead of Corwitz of Great Lakes Sale in lane six. Jacob Lloyd into the wall here. Central Ohio Aquatics in the D final. And his time, 53.25. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes all of our swimming competition here. How about a big round of applause for our swimmers? Come on, ladies and gentlemen. A small but mighty crowd on a Sunday evening at the IU Natatorium. And the award presentation now in the men's 100 freestyle. Here they come. In third place from Southeastern Swim Club, Joshua Flegel. Second place from Mason Manor Rays, Jason Zhao. And the 2024 Spring Speedo Sectional Champion of the Men's 100 Free from Carmel. Getting his Olympic trial cut with a swim this evening. 49.46. Congratulations to Aaron Shackle. High Point and Team Awards coming up in just a moment. 